Hello everybody, this is Thomas Girl 018 and this is part 62 of my Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. As we left off, we had a very long episode to hold in the whole battle of Redcliffe Village. And as you can see, we were successful, we, otherwise we wouldn't be standing here. <laughs> We've sadly, uh, okay, I'm not spoiling anything, so you can watch it, watch the episode to find out what happened. So, let's see, we already did that, and so we gotta go meet up with Antigon at the windmill to find out what we gotta do next. But he said something about going, sneaking into the castle, so maybe he's got an idea how to do that. I cannot wait until Christmas. I'm not gonna be getting anything. But I just uh, am looking forward to the, you know, the food, spending time uh, with my family. sort of thing. That's what we normally do on Christmas. We just open present, any presents we have and just cook Christmas dinner like we normally do for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, that's that. And now let's talk to Banty again. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Oh, now that's very interesting. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. Not necessarily. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Make his breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not oh. have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. Alone? What makes you think I'm letting them go alone? This could be a trap. Yeah, this could be an ambush. about uh, sorry I was kind of trying to listen to make sure that my nephew isn't crying though I've got some help in taking care of him my sister's boyfriend is uh, staying with us he's having to sleep on the couch but he's staying with us and he's helping me with watching him, so it's not all just me all the time, which I uh, thank goodness for. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but we need more of an explanation than that. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? Were it not for her help, Isolde, I would not be here. I owe her my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... considering the circumstances... Please, Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. Yeah. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. That's not good. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Oh, man. Oh, just so you guys know, this is Sol, the Earl of Red Cliff's wife. Do you recognize the accent? Yes, she is Orlesian. Keep that in mind, considering... Rather than Orle, I've not been a much Especially after the events of the Soul Train. Uh, uh, 
What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Yeah, I want to Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Goner, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many, and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Oh, boy. Yeah, do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? Obviously. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? Possible. I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tegan. Please. Considering what I know about what happens, it's not gonna... I don't think it's gonna hurt him. I don't think it does. But... Yeah, we need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. What? <gasps> Thank the Maker! Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you! It seems you have little choice in the matter. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Oh no, that didn't give us much answers. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? What exactly am I supposed to do? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Oh, heck no, we are not doing that. Yeah. I don't believe that. I'll rescue you all. I promise. I'm not gonna let this... I'm not gonna let you guys die. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Well now, that was... unexpected. Though, again, my defense is completely expected. But, for her, it is. Another love letter for that quest. And here's the entrance. Hidden into the hay. As you desire. Yep. Okay, now we're going inside the castle. My friend, mm -hmm. please don't get me wrong, but I feel I have the obligation to talk about how you handle yourself in battle. Uh, are you gonna say how I do so well in battle and that... Wait, what? Why do you need to talk about it? Do I do something wrong? Yeah, what's wrong with the way I fight? Well, your technique. You need quite a bit of practice. What? 
but I don't think I could just teach you in one sitting. You see, you tend to elevate your you arm too much when you thrust, and your steps, they're totally wrong. Then if we go over your tactics... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now wait a second. Why should you talk about how I fight? When you're the one that's always getting your butt kicked and you end up fainting or getting knocked out, whatever the case is, when you lose an ally in this game. I've seen him on the ground a whole lot more <laughs> than myself. I've only been on the ground maybe, I think, once in this whole game. Maybe twice. You know, if anybody's been watching the series as a whole, let me know how many compared for the two of us, how many for him and how many for me, and I'll compare it. Yeah, I'm still getting the job done. And look at the cost. You can barely dodge a blow, hey. and can rarely stay out of harm's reach. So, I oh, think that if no. you start... Yeah, I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, really. I see your punches quite often. <laughs> I am a knight, and I will never hesitate to save your life. That only shows your recklessness when engaging the enemy. But please, friend, really? come with me. I'll teach you some techniques now, oh, and after Lord, that, I'm sure we'll make time to continue with those lessons. Same. I am a better, I am a I'm sure you'll get better in no time. Than you are. Jerk. Sorry, Roland, but that was really a jerky thing to do. But still, at wait. Oh, at that for a second, said love. I'm like, what, what's up? And that happened. Okay, now let's pull him up while I have a chance. Berserker, Reaver, Templar, what should I do? What specialization? Hmm. Actual level of status, uh, abilities, points first. Give him a little more health. Wait a minute. Let me check something real quick. Sorry. Kind of burped and it came up the wrong way. That's gonna need dexterity. Set. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. I've already got Alistair's a Templar. Let's try Reaver for once. I never tried Reaver. Swiping the lingering energy of all nearby corpses, which res partially restores the Reaver's own health. Okay. I'll take that one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let me save real quick. And now let's actually talk to him. What can I do for you, my dear? Okay, uh... <laughs> I'll ask him about that later, but there's nothing... No new conversation... No harm done. No new conversation for being in Redcliffe Castle. Okay. Be unnatural, please. Okay, over here. Is there anyone alive out there? Jowen! Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Nope. Are you from outside the castle? Yes, and this is why I wanted to go on ahead and get hit and do this quest, because you get Jowen in this quest. When you finish it, of course. As long as you don't tell him to run away. Because then you don't. I don't think anyway, because I've never done that. 
Uh, yes, I came in through a secret tunnel. There's a tunnel? Then why hasn't anyone in the castle used it? We could all have escaped by now. Because I think the, I don't think anybody else knows about it except the royal family. So yeah, I actually, I wonder that myself actually. Hmm, curious. None of this makes any sense. Not that anyone cares much what I think. My name is Jowan. I'm yep. a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Wait, yeah, Lady... Lady Isolde mentioned that a mage was behind all this. No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At That's first, Lady Isolde came strange. here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Well, now that sounds a whole lot more different than what Isolde told us. Yeah, why did the Arlesa hire you to tutor her son? Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat Logan, to Ferelda, that if I dealt this? with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. Ah, uh, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you... dead, hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Yep. Everything's fallen apart and I'm so. responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Yeah, but why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. Oh, she sought an apostate. A mage outside the circle to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Yeah, but the bad thing about doing that is that you have no idea if the mage you hire is secretly a blood mage or secretly has some hidden agenda for doing this. Besides being paid, of course. Hello? Isolde wasn't thinking clearly when she did this. Silly, silly woman. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Yeah. Exactly. This is why... I said that you're taking a risk when you're hiring an apostate because you don't know what they're capable of or if they're they got good intentions or not. Why would Isol be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Well, obviously, like she's, like Jowen said, he would be taken away, and she would never be able to see him again. Because he would be taken away forever. See? A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm checking the time. Mm. Sorry, my does kind of burning. I guess that last burp I had when Simba came up, I guess it's burning my throat. Mm. Uh, let's see. What time did I start doing? Yeah, how much magic did you teach him? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. 
If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Sorry, another burp. I see. I think I understand. Yes, I understand perfectly. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Because he is dangerous, my dear. If not to others, then surely to himself. You betray your own kind with such words, old woman. Humanity is my oh. kind. To play with forces beyond one's control is to invite disaster, no matter one's intentions. Give me a chance, please. I've never gotten that conversation before. Then again, I don't think I've taken both Wynn and Morrigan with me to this. I've probably taken one or the other, but... Uh, let me think. Yeah, I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? Yeah, don't ever- don't tell him- if you want to get him on your- in your team after this, do not tell him these first two options. Or sorry, these- there's three options. You can- actually, I don't know about the first one, but these two do not say it because he will leave, I think, and you will not get him. And you come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Yeah, then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Well, now we've met Jowen, and Morrigan approves. Plus seven. Okay, let's keep going. What's this? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I'm like, why did they make some kind of use for it? Oh, uh, these corpses being here? I don't like it. I don't like how they're just laying here. I do not like how they're just laying here. that my last words might be used as kindling or make it forbid to wipe someone's bum. But that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Brennan. Brian, whatever. I was born in Brain... Brainspear? I grapples once upon a time. When the Orlegians came to demand, I had... I bowed to their emperor. I turned them away. Or, sorry. When the Orlegians came to demand, I bowed to their emperor. I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards my house too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, eh, but my honor can't be lost. Only if I can only be can be lost only if I let it. I cannot talk. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here. Oh, this guy must have been a prisoner during the Orlesian War. Or during the war with between Ferelden and Orlais. Because Orlesians haven't been, don't live here anymore. And I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few things and rebuilt my home, gone on my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Brandersphere. There's no living remnant of us left there, but if you find my family all this you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the land er, we're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise that you they'll hear. Huh. Like I said, that guy must have been a prisoner in the during the Orleans conflict in Pharaoh. Oh, see? I didn't like how they were just going there.
And so I shall. <laughs> she agrees with me. And I got some boots. Let me see. Do I have... Hang on, let me... Uh, poison make. Ooh. More bombs! I think I want to end this part off here, guys. I will see y'all next time where we uh, continue our way up through the castle and try and find out what is going on. See y'all next time.